Hey, I'm Shane from Heatshield Products, and today I'm going to be going over an install of our lava header armor onto this LS header. Our lava head armor is great. It's uh, got a continuous direct contact temp of 1800 degrees. It can reduce your under temps by up to 60%. Uh, should be warranty friendly with most manufacturers. Um, it does come in a two pack or one pack, and then you can get it in either a half inch or quarter inch thick. Uh, I've got another new product I'm going to use in this video. It's called our HP Power Anchor. And um, these are a great way to uh, secure your Armor Series products to your exhaust system and be able to easily take them on and off for any type of repairs you need to do. Um, what you get in these kits, you get um, a stainless power hook, you get a stainless speed washer, you get uh, some rivets. You also get uh, 10 feet or 20 feet of uh, wire depending on which, uh, which kit you buy. Um, they do come in, uh, it's a 20 pack or a 10 pack. Um, when you're uh, doing any of these uh, installs of our armor products, uh, we do suggest that you um, use some gloves, a dust mask, and some safety goggles. Um, to cut out my uh, lava head armor, I'm going to use a straight edge, um, utility knife, and then uh, maybe some scissors. Um, I do have a tailor's tape. It's good for uh, measuring uh, around the bends here. Um, and then uh, I've also got my rivet gun. You do need a rivet gun for the power anchor kit. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to cover this tube. I'm going to cover this tube. And then for these two here, I'm going to make more of a, like a blanket, like we do on some of our other headers. Um, and uh, on this one, I'll, um, I'll use the HP power anchors on this blanket. And then on these two, I'll use the ink nail wire that comes with the uh, lava header armor kit. I've already made my templates. Um, so basically I'm gonna have one here. I'm gonna have one here. It's my other template. And then I've got my piece, it's gonna be my it's gonna be my blanket for that part there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay these out. I'm gonna trace them and then I'm going to cut this all out. Now what I'm going to do is uh, take off some of this insulation and uh, make my fold over. I do that like this. I just kind of lightly score the insulation with um, with the razor blade and uh, try not to go through the embossed aluminum and lava on the other side. I'm going to notch these a little bit so they're easier to fold over. And this one. Got my, got my ink and wire. I'm just going to get that kind of started there before I cinch it down. Poke the wire through and around the lava header armor, then twist it on the back side with a pair of pliers to secure it. Here's a quick tip for the HP power anchors. The first thing you want to do is locate your anchor points. So I'm going to put two in the back, two in the middle, and then one up here in the front. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to poke some holes in here. And then what I like to do with the rivet and the washer is get that in there ahead of time. It's a little easier. So what I do is put my rivet in the rivet gun and get my washer. to just push this right over it. Just like that. Now I'm all ready to go. There we go. Now we have all our power anchors secured. I'm going to attach it to the header. 
just like to kind of form fit to where I'm gonna put it before I secure it with the wire. And for now, I'm just gonna kind of loosely attach so I can get all the other anchors wired up. All right, so we're all secured. We've got our wire. So now, I'm just gonna add this high temperature aluminum decal. So everyone knows you have a high quality product on your car. That's it. You've now stopped 60% of radiant heat and lowered your underhead temperatures.